Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rekakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, and the sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful to let Akim out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity, doing the work as Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah has commanded you to do. So he can wake up and seal the elect of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, and you Israelites who are scattered amongst the heathen nations that may look like the heathen nations, but your father's seed line goes back to you being the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, one of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Shalom. It's your brother Halak here from the GMS Denver camp, coming back once again through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah with another video. And this time I wanted to go uh, back into the bases because we had a guy come up to camp last week and he had no understanding of all of who he was, that the most I had the chosen people, you know, and, and uh, it brought back into remembrance of uh, some of the, uh, one of the apostles said of, uh, you got, you got new brothers and sisters waking up every day. So we have to go back to the bases from time to time, you know. So we're going to go back to the basis of understanding and knowing that the Most High has a chosen people and that those are the only people that the Most High is dealing with as it is written in the Bible. You see, because that's what we stick to over here. We stick to what's written in the Old and the New Testament. Everything that's written in this book, we cleave unto it because that's what we have been commanded to do. You see? So according to these scriptures, according to the word of God, you see, according to the word of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, he has a chosen people. Above all people that are upon the earth. You see now, some people might say that's not fair, that's hateful, that's racist, so forth and so on. But guess what? That's what the Most High ordained it to be. And, and who are you to, to speak against the Heavenly Father and, and what he's uh, orchestrated upon this earth, man? He wanted it to be this way, and that's what it's going to be. And no one is going to change that. So we're going to, uh, so what I did is I went to Deuteronomy 7 and 6 and went into the uh, cross references and we're going to put up some scriptures showing you that the most has the chosen people that are, that are above all nations on the earth because all nations are not equal. See that lie that you've been told all these years that, oh, we're all human beings and we're all equal. We're, we're all one people, this and that and the other. No, that's a lie. You see, that is a lie according to the Bible. The most I did not set up all nations to be equal. He did not. He did, he did not set up all nations to join hand in hand. That was the that they, that's and, and and a perfect example of that is the Tower of Babel. The Most High does not want all people intermingling. You see, being a uh, so called one people because that that's something that cannot be. So we're gonna start right here in Deuteronomy seven and six. It says what? For thou art an holy people, unto Yahweh thy God. Yahweh thy God have chosen thee to be a special people unto Himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. You see that? And when you go to Deuteronomy, the first chapter of Deuteronomy, the first verse, to get the context of what we're reading, it tells you exactly who this book was addressed to. Matter of fact, let's get it. Let's go get it ourselves, man. Let's 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 show and prove. This is uh Deuteronomy chapter one, verse one. It says, What? These be the words. So this whole book, you say, right? These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel on this side of Jordan, in the wilderness, in the plain over against the Red Sea, between Paran and Tophel and Laban and, Haz and Hazaroth and, Diz and Dizahab. You see? So this whole book is addressing the Israelites, just like every other book in the Bible is addressing the Israelites. You see? So now when we go to Deuteronomy, back to Deuteronomy 7 and 6, this is talking about, this is talking to the Israelites. Now we're going to go back to the cross references. So like, matter of fact, let, let, yeah, okay. Let's get, let's get the translation comparison. Let's see what that says. This is the NLT. It says, for you are a holy people. <clears throat> for you are a holy people who belong to Yahweh your God. Of all the people on the earth, of all the people on the earth, Yahweh your God has chosen you to be his own special treasure. You hear that? You see? That's just what it is, man. 
the heavenly father, the creator of the heavens and the earth, the ancient of days, the almighty power. You see? Everything that you see in, that, that, that exists, it came from his mind. This same power who did all these things chose the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to be his chosen people above all people on the planet Earth. And that's what's written in the Holy Bible that everybody claims to believe in until the truth really comes out of it. You see? Going back to the cross references, let's get something else. This is Exodus 19 and 5. It says what? Now, therefore, if you will obey my voice indeed and keep my covenant, then ye shall be a peculiar treasure unto me above all people for all the earth is mine. You hear that? Once again, it's not just said in Deuteronomy 7. It says, this is all throughout the scriptures, man, that we are the most highest peculiar treasure above all people on the earth. You see? The only special nation on the earth is the nation of Israel, which consists of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You see, and the Most High made us that way, man. He set us up to be his peculiar treasure. We didn't choose this. He chose us. You see? Verse 19 to 6 says what? And ye shall be... Oh, it's like Exodus 19 to 6 says what? And ye shall be unto me a kingdom of priests and an holy nation... These are the words which thou shalt speak unto the children of Israel. Not to the whole world. The whole world will not be a kingdom of priests unto the Most High. The whole world is not a, 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 a peculiar treasure unto the Most High. Only the children of Israel are a peculiar treasure above all people unto the Most High. Only the children of Israel be, will be a kingdom of uh, uh, will be a kingdom of priests and kings in the kingdom of heaven. And that cuts that Levitical priesthood as well. You see? That's a whole different topic, but that cuts that right there as well. Every man in Israel is a priest unto the heavenly father, Yahweh, under the order of Melchizedek. That's what, that, the most I was talking about the order of Melchizedek back here in Exodus 19 and 6, Salakia. That's, that's, yeah, yeah, that's, that's something else. But you get you, you see what I'm saying. So this, the, uh, the Israelites are the peculiar treasure unto the heavenly Father Yahweh. Let's get another one. This is uh, Deuteronomy chapter four, verse two. It says, and we already got who the, the 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 book of Deuteronomy was addressed to. We already know who Exodus was dealing with. That was talking about the Most High saving us from the land of Egypt. He only did that for the nation of Israel. He ain't do that for all nations. You see, Deuteronomy fourteen and two says what? For thou art in holy people unto Yahweh thy power. And Yahweh thy power have chosen thee to be a peculiar people unto himself above all the nations that are upon the earth. You see that? We're not equal. So the spirit that our people are walking in of, of begging, for, begging for equality from the so-called white man, that's the wrong spirit, man. That's not, that's not being in the spirit of an Israelite. That's not being, that's not being in the spirit of a, a, a servant of the heavenly father, Yahweh. That's not being in the spirit of the servant of the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah. You see, because we are different from these people. We are above these people, man. <coughs> and when you come into this truth, you have to take on that mind state. That all these heathen nations are beneath you. Even though they have us in captivity. Even though we're working menial jobs. We're being disrespected. We're being gunned down in the street. So forth and so on. Guess what? We are still better than these people. We're still above these people. We're just here serving out our punishment. Because of our transgressions, man. This is and what you see. What you see our people going through is what happens when we depart from the heavenly Father Yahweh. This is what we have to suffer. This is the Most High showing us that that that, that without Him and His only begotten Son, we can do nothing. And we're always given over to the hands of the heathen, and they have their way with us, man. Go back and read Judges. You see, go back and read Judges, and every time the, uh, the, the Israelites would depart away from the Heavenly Father, we would suffer these type of things, man. Going into captivity, being mistreated, you see, being used, abused, and beat down and oppressed, man. That's what happens when we depart away from our power. That's what happens when we cleave unto false idols. That's what happens when we don't walk in His ways. You see, He punishes us, man. 
And we have to suffer all the madness that we have to suffer up under these heathen. It's always been that way. Go back and read the history. This ain't the first time we've been in captivity. We've been in captivity dozens of times, man. Under every nation. And why did that happen? Because of our disobedience. So even though we're suffering all these things, we're still the peculiar people, the peculiar treasure of the Most High above all nations, man. You see? So let's go to Deuteronomy 26 and uh, 19. Uh, yeah. And to make thee high above all nations. Matter of fact, let's go to that one. Deuteronomy 26 and 19. Yup. Uh, verse 17 says what? Thou has a vouch this day. It's like, Thou has a vouch Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah this day to be thy God. And to walk in his ways. And to keep his statutes. And his commandments. So like it. So yeah. Deuteronomy 26 and 17 says. Thou has a vouch. Let's get that word of vouched. Because when you come into this truth man. You have to go into these words. To get a better understanding of what we're reading. Because the English language is so fucking bastardized. It, it, it really doesn't make sense when you. Try to read these scriptures. And that's and that's the problem that the Christians have. They just try to read these things in English and don't go into these words. And they're, and they're lacking understanding because they don't understand what they're reading. So when you go into this word of vouched, it says what? To speak, to utter, or to say, speak, utter. To say, to answer, to say in one's heart, to thank, to command, to promise, to intend. You see, to uh, a vow, a vouch. Matter of fact, let's do it like this. We can also go look up the definition this way. In the Google to just get a better understanding of what we're reading, man. So web search, right? It says a vouch to affirm, to us uh, assert. So guess what we did? We said, "Hey, man, the Most High is our power. We're gonna serve Him. We're gonna do everything that we that He told us to do." You see, that's what we said in the witness. You go back and read that in Exodus twenty-four. You start at verse three and read on down to verse eight <clears throat> of that first covenant being made with the uh, between the Most High, mediated by Moses, with the children of Israel. You see. We said everything that the, that, that the Heavenly Father Yahweh said, we're going to do it. That was us avouching that day, you see, that he was our God and that we, we was going to follow his commandments, right? So, going back, Deuteronomy 26 and 17, thou has avouched this day, it's like thou has avouched Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah this day to be thy God and to walk in his ways and to keep his statutes and his, and his commandments. And his judgments and to hearken unto his voice. You see that? There it is. And we, we utter that out of our mouths, man. Everything Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah commanded us, we shall do it. That's what we said. Right? Verse 18 says what? And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah avouched this day to be his. And Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah have avouched thee this day to be his peculiar people. As he have promised. You see that? The most I promised that we was going to be his special people. Who did he promise that to? Our forefather Abraham. You see? Then it went down to Isaac. Then it went down to Jacob. Then Jacob brought forth the 12 tribes of Israel. You see? So it says what? As he hath promised thee, and that thou shouldest keep all his commandments. Verse 19. And to make thee high above all nations. You hear that? And to make thee high above all nations which he have made. The Most High made all nations. But guess what he did? He took the children of Israel and put them above all nations, man. There ain't no, ain't no equality in that. That's not equality. That's superiority, man. The Most High made us superior to all nations. And it's nothing wrong uh, uh, with uh, understanding and, and, and cleaving unto that, man. Embracing that. We are better than all these nations. Because the Most High made us that way, man. Don't let nobody make you feel embarrassed because uh, uh, of who you are and who the Most High created us to be and who he wants us to be. We are superior to these nations, man, as it is written. See, because we before we woke up to this truth, they was telling us what? We weren't shit. We would never be shit. You, you're a monkey. You, you, you evolved from monkeys. You're the stupidest people on the planet Earth. You ain't nothing but a bunch of criminals and thugs and gangsters and, and pimps and hoes and sluts. And, and that's what they, and that's what they was pushing on us, constantly beating, us, beating it into our head. Ain't nothing but a bunch of dumb niggas, dumb monkeys, dumb spicks, dumb wetbacks, dumb tomahawks. That, that's what they told us, man. But according to what's written in this holy Bible, man, we are above all these nations that the Most High has made, man. We are superior to them, man. We're the smartest, the fastest, the most, the most powerful, man. You see, the most spiritual people, first and foremost. 
You see? And the one true living power, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh made us that way, man. So there ain't no equality when it comes to the nation of Israel. We are above all nations as it is written. So going back to Deuteronomy 26 and 19, it says what? And to make thee high above all nations, which he have made, in praise and in name and in honor. You hear that? You see? In praise and in name and in honor. We're above all nations in every category, man. But the reason that we're on the bottom is because of our disobedience. That's why we have to repent and believe upon Yahweh Shai so he can bring us back to the Most High Yahweh. That's what it's all about, man. Believing on the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, the one the world inly calls Jesus Christ. You see? His true name is Yahweh Shai. He's a so-called black man from the tribe of Judah. We have to believe upon this brother, this man, so he can bring us back to the Heavenly Father, man. We have to repent and do what Yahweh Shai has commanded us to do. So he can bring us back to the Most High, so we can be put back in that uh, uh in that state of glory that the Most High has promised to give us, and we're gonna have it forevermore when Yahweh Shah returns, man. This is what we're saying. Coming back to the understanding of who our God is, coming back to the understanding of who our Savior is, coming back to the understanding of who we are, and that we are superior to these nations. You see, and that's how we're supposed to think about ourselves, man. Not in this low ass vibration of talking about some equality and reparations and no man. You can never be equal to somebody who's below you. And that's just what it is, man. And you have to take on that mindset when you come into this truth. So Deuteronomy 26 and 19 says, And that thou mayest be in holy people unto Yahweh thy power, as he have spoken. You see, as the Lord have spoken, man, the Heavenly Father spoke this, that we are above all nations and praise, honor, name, and glory. You see? And that we are a holy people above all these people. The most I said this, man. We're not just making this up. We're not just making this up, man. The most high has said this. He has ordained us to be this way, man. This ain't of ourselves. You see? Let's get let's go back to Deuteronomy 76 and go back to the cross references. And this is something you need to know when you come into this truth, man. This, this is not for everybody. All nations are not involved in this. That's that's a lie you have been told in, in the Christian church, man. You see, that's the bullshit ass Christian plantation Christianity doctrine, man. And why they, and why they uh, why are they telling you that uh, we're all equal because they don't want you to come into that mind state of you being superior to them, man. Because these heathen nations fear us, especially the so-called white race, the Edomites. They are in fear of the Israelites, man. They know that we're superior, and that's why they do everything in their power to keep us on the bottom, man. No matter how much how far you advance in this society, you can never be on their own. Uh, on their level in the society because what they're running things and they're setting it up for you to be in the positions that you're in man you see and that's all according to the curses and it's all good because the curses are about to be lifted from us man deuteronomy 28 and 9 it says yahweh bashim yahweh shah shall establish thee and holy people unto himself as he has sworn unto thee if thou shalt keep his if thou shalt keep the commandments of yahweh thy power and walk in his ways and that this when you go to Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 14, that's talking about the curses. What the Most High is going to bring upon us or, or what the Most High was going to do for us if we kept the commandments. And it's fully going to be established when Yahweh Shah returns and we're put up under that second covenant and given those new immortal bodies, having the law, statutes, the commandments put in our minds. We're going to be up under those blessings of Deuteronomy 1 through 14 forevermore. Because right now we're under Deuteronomy 28, 15, uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15, all the way down to 68. Those are the curses that we're under right now. Go read them. To see who we are. You see? Uh, Psalms 15 and 5 says what? Gather my saints together unto me. Those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. So the saints are who? The saints are the Israelites. Those that made a covenant with the Most High by sacrifice are the Israelites. According to uh, Exodus 24. Like you said, go start at verse 3. Read down to verse 8. You see? The Most High is only dealing with the nation of Israel, man. We are his chosen people. That's something that has been kept secret for so long in this world, man. But now it's being declared all throughout the earth because the spirit and power, because Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is pouring his Holy Spirit upon his people. Once again, for us to know these things, man. You see? And the world hates it because they don't, they, when you, when you finally wake up to this truth, man, you understand and know that these nations hate your fucking guts, man. They hate anything uh, to do, with, they hate having anything to do with you, man. They only deal with you because they can make money off of you. But these nations hate your guts and the damn Edomites, the so-called white man, especially hates you, man. 
You can go into the history of that, man. The hatred that they, they harbor for the nation of Israel, man. So all you got to do is go back and look at the history and see what they've done to our people. Go back and look at what and go back and look at what the so-called white man has done to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. You see? And that proves that they hate you, man. Ain't shit changed. Now they hide it now they hide that hate behind that fucking yellow tooth smile, man. So this is Amos chapter 3, verse 2, and I wrap it up on this. Because this is more we can go into. I might do another uh, video on this, going into small things. This is Amos chapter 3, verse 1. It says what? Hear this word that Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, you hear that? So this is directed directed towards the Edom. I'm not slot. This is directed towards the Israelites. That's the family that the Most High came and got out of Egypt. Go back and read the Exodus. It was only dealing with the nation of Israel, man. You see? Verse 2 says what? You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. You hear that? The Most High has only known the Israelites. He's only made covenants with the Israelites. He's only made promises to the Israelites. He's only going to give the Israelites the covenant. According, and you can go read all that in the New Testament according to uh, Romans chapter 9, man. It tells you all those things, but it says, well, only you have I known of all the families of the earth. That lets you know that Moshe is not dealing with all nations on the earth. He's only dealing with the Israelites. So that cuts uh, that equality bullshit, you see? That cuts us being inferior to all these nations. We are superior, man, you see, in everything. But why aren't we on in, in, in the position of power right now? It's, it says what? Therefore, I will punish you for your iniquities, and that's exactly what's happening, man. We are being punished for our iniquities. That's why we're on the bottom right now. But guess what? We're still the most highest chosen people. And he's coming to save us out of this captivity that we suffer here in Babylon and greater now all throughout the world, man. You see? The most highest the chosen people. And those people are the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And those of you who are scattered amongst the heathen nations, your, if your father's seed line, your father lineage goes back to you being the so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, guess what? You are an Israelite as well. You see? The Most High has a chosen people, and we are those chosen people. Don't let nobody tell you otherwise, man. We are superior to these people. We're not equal to these people, and they can never be on our levels, man. They can never be on our level. Thus saith the Bible, thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. So with that, I'm going to give all praise, all honor, all glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham Rakak Wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone for teaching me this truth according to the Bible through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And a sincere peace and salutation to all you hopeful to let I came out there pushing his word in all truth and sincerity. Doing the work as Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has commanded you to do. With that, I'm going to say Shalom, Wa, Abba, Abba.